In this video, I want to show off the new module I just created for my AI creative agency template. It uses Nano Banana and VO3 to create both images and videos in the story 9 by 16 dimensions that are perfect for advertising. This is a strategy that I'm currently implementing for brands I'm working on now. It works extremely well. And as you can see here, it's just one of the many modules in my ever growing template. So I thought those video results were pretty good, but what's really cool is the image results. Using this method, it only costs two cents and you can bulk create all these images for whatever brands you want. So in this example, we use this image of Athletic Greens as well as this image of the farmer's dog. And here's a couple examples of the outputs that you're gonna get organized on your Google Sheet, shareable. And as you can see right here, this looks like something that AG1 could be running as an ad right now. And then boom, we have this one of the farmer's dog. I think the visuals are amazing. And this would get a high CTR on Facebook. And then here, I just had one more concept of the AG1. But ultimately, you can generate as many of these as you want. And the entire cost is just two cents per image. So let me do a basic summary of how this works. So I have the agency Google Sheets control panel right here where it has everything. We can put the object that we want, some context on it if we want the AI generated taglines along with that image right here. And then we're gonna to go to the new tab, which is called story controls. Basically what you're gonna do is take a tagline, an image idea and a video idea. And then for every to do here, it will generate it into both an image and video. And I'll show you how to modify the automation if you only want images because they're significantly cheaper. But by default, videos are also enabled. Like I said before, this entire agency template beta two along with just the module separated by itself is going to be available on my school community. You're simply gonna to go to the classroom here, over to the templates. I have this video that's about 25 minutes explaining all the other modules, and I'll be posting another one, which will be beta two, including this module that you'll be able to see as soon as the video is up. And if you're not already part of the community, I highly recommend you join now while the price is only $20 per month or $144 per year. We've been adding a ton of new members and the price is going up soon. Not only will you get new prompts and templates weekly, but you'll also join a community of 1.5 thousand AI marketers. But if you're not part of the community, don't worry. I'll be going over how this template works, each module one at a time, so that you could build something similar. And if you're part of the community, you could just go to these three dots, hit import from file, choose the file from my school, and boom, all the modules will be set up for you. You'll just have to add your credentials. And speaking of credentials, this one is gonna be extremely easy to set up because both the Nano Banana API and the VO3 API are gonna be coming from Key AI, which is a website that's extremely easy to use and you can top up with only $5 worth of credits. So once you have that connected to these modules, all you're gonna to have to do is connect your Google Drive. I have a tutorial on that linked in the description as well as your Google Sheets, which is even easier. Okay, before I go into the entire breakdown, I'm gonna show you how this works for a new product. So we put the object prime, I put a paragraph about prime hydration here and then I took this image that I just uploaded and I put it into this cell right here. Now everything is ready to go. I'm gonna remove these taglines here and then I'm gonna quickly connect my trigger to the first module and get some AI taglines that I can use for the ad. Now the AI created all these and then I noticed this one hydration that hits different. I'm gonna to go to the story controls and I'm gonna paste it here and that's the text we're gonna be working with for this ad. So the next two things we're gonna need is the image idea and the video idea. So for the Husky example, I just wrote Husky eating from a metal bowl of dog food at the edge of Half Dome in Yosemite. Scenic view in the background. And then for the video idea, I just said dog happily eats food. I make sure to make the video ideas extremely simple because the more complex, the more possibility for it to come out wrong. And then for the image idea, honestly, I think your creativity is the best. If you manually come up with ones, you're gonna make significantly better ads than if you ask AI. However, I have this prompt that I can just drop into ChatGPT along with the picture I have, and it will come up with 10 ideas for image idea and video idea. But despite all the instructions, the video ideas that the AI come up with is often too complicated. Honestly, I think humans are much more creative when it comes to image ideas, and you're gonna do a lot better if you just come up with them on yourself instead of using AGI. Some of these could be good, but you definitely have to manually go through them, otherwise you're gonna get some really bad results. 
Anyways, I'll have this entire prompt in the description. All you have to do is change the product name here, send this off to ChatGPT, and then it'll make a little table like this that you can copy into your Google Sheets if you want. So for this example, I came up with both the image idea and the video idea pretty simple. The image idea says man holding prime product in one hand, holding the American flag in the other while sitting on a jet ski. And then the video idea is man says nothing is better than drinking a prime on 4th of July. So it's kind of a meme. I don't really think this is going to be the most useful ad, but it's just a proof of concept to show how the automation works. So now that we have the tagline, the image idea, and the video idea, we're ready to go. Note that I have this to do here, so it's only gonna be making this one image and video. If I had more of these to do here, it would generate this one, and then loop around, then generate the second one. But because we only have one, we'll only have one output, but that's good for this test. I'm now gonna be executing this module, and just give it a second. It's gonna take the product info, it's gonna to start to generate the image, once it generates the image, it's gonna take a little while. And then this is gonna take roughly a minute. It's gonna upload the image to your drive. It's then gonna put it on your sheet and then it's going to go over to here. It's gonna take that image to make a video and then this way is gonna take like four minutes and then it's going to get that video and upload it to the Google Drive and then add that to the sheets. Okay, and the automation has finished. We're gonna be going back to the Google Sheets and then we're gonna to go to image outputs and you'll see there's one more and the product is prime here. And I have the file open right here. So you can see this is pretty good for an ad. I mean, the person isn't holding the flag, but you can see the flag here and you can see the prime product right there. So not bad. And then we're gonna to go to the video outputs. Looks like there was a little bit of a bug here where it calls it athletic greens instead of prime. But when you open up the video file, this is what you get right here. So I know it ran properly. Nothing is better than drinking a prime on the 4th of July. <laughs> so you can see it's kind of good, but the quality, especially when you're watching it on a full screen, is just not the best because VO3 isn't set up that way. But it's still pretty cool that we're able to generate both images and videos at once. And you have your little tagline here and everything. And overall, I'm pretty proud of this automation. So now that I showed how it works, I'm gonna go node by node and explain what's happening so everyone can fully understand. I'm gonna start with the credentials. So if you have the template, you can just switch your credentials and get things going. But I'm gonna be, like I said, for everyone, going step by step so you can build this out regardless if you have the template or not. Okay, so during this explanation, if you get stuck anywhere, make sure to watch my comprehensive two-hour free course on N8N which will cover a lot of stuff. But what we're gonna do first is go to this nano banana module right here, and I'll show you what you need to set up for this. So you're basically gonna need your authorization here, and you're gonna hit this new credential. And then as I edit it here, you're gonna to wanna to call it key AI. You're gonna to wanna to go to key AI, link in the description, make that account, get your API key. It's pretty intuitive on the website. And then for name, you're gonna to wanna to put authorization. And then for value, you're gonna to wanna to put bearer space your API key. I'll have that in the description and on school so you don't mess that up. Now on all these, you can just do a generic credential type, header auth key AI, and this will link to your account and use your credits. So once you do that for this module right here, you'll be able to do the nano banana stuff. You're gonna obviously need to apply it to this get image um, node right here. The download image is not important. Um, and then this video one right here. This is for VO3, so you're gonna need to connect your key account here. And then over here on this get video link, again, you're gonna need to connect your key account there. So once you have that, you should be good in terms of those external credentials. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is your Google Drive. Now, Google Drive is a pain, and I'm going to link to a section that goes over how you go to the Google Cloud Console and connect it. It's gonna take you about 10 minutes, but I highly recommend you do it because Managing everything on Google Drive is super nice. So I'm just gonna be opening this up here. And you're just gonna make sure that you have your Google Drive account um, accessible as one of the options. And then you're also on all of these sheet nodes. You're, what you're gonna to wanna to do is take this template that I have right here. 
which I'll have in the description, and you're gonna want to make a copy of this and then upload this to your Google Drive. You're gonna want all these tabs to be named the same, and you're gonna want everything to be exactly where it is. If you change these things, it's not gonna work with the template, so that's extremely important. And then you're just gonna to need to connect it and make sure that you have all this. I recommend if, if when you connect your Google Sheets, this kind of disappears, I recommend that you import it twice and then you just um, make sure everything is set up how it was before. But that's what you're gonna do for all these nodes. So now that you have your key account set up, you have your Google Drive credentials and you have your Google Sheet ready to go, let's go one by one through the nodes. First, the click to execute. You'll notice that this is linked right here. So I'm, I can just click this to disconnect it, to connect it to any other module. That's kind of how I set it up. So connecting that to here, will start the tagline story generator. And then also if you see this loop right here, this line, it's a little bit hard to read because it goes underneath them. But if you hit this trash can right here, what that will do is it will cut off all the video generation, but you'll still be generating the images. So if you don't want to spend the money, the 40 cents on every video, then you can just snip that wire right there and just let this stay over here. So that's just the modification that's really good to know. So. This first one, we're basically just getting row number two from the copy controls right here, which is getting the product info, so we can log that. Then we're getting the product link, which is um, on the fourth one, which you can see right here. So you're gonna wanna make sure your link to your image is right here. And I use image BB, which is super simple to upload my image. Um, if you use another person, just make sure that um, the server can access it, because with direct mid journey, links and stuff like that sometimes it doesn't work but you can see all this is really doing is getting row four so then we have the get ideas module and open that right here you'll see that it's going to the story controls so it's getting your tagline your image idea your video idea all that and then we're just doing a loop over items so this is important because it's getting a bunch of items based on the story controls right here, all the to-dos you have. So if you have multiple to-dos, you'll have like four or five generating at once. That's gonna go to this loop over items um, module that you can set up. And it's a little bit complicated right here, but we have this one connected here, and then the loop connects here. And then it just goes through, and then at the end it goes back to this, and it's not till it's done that it then moves down to the video editing section. So that's pretty important that it's set up like this. And then the next one we have right here is the Nano Banana. Okay, so I have the Nano Banana one open now, and basically we already set up this, but sending the body, you're gonna to wanna to do JSON using JSON. And here I'm on the key API documentation. You can see the curl right here. You can just copy this and then import and paste it into here, and then it will generate this for you like that. And then the modifications I made is I just put in this prompt. So for prompt, I typed in, fill the entire canvas with and then I linked the variable by dragging it over from before that is your image idea variable. So you can see with expression, it says fill the entire canvas with man holding prime product, you know, yada, yada, yada. And then I said put the text and then tagline centered between the subject at the top and a high contrast color Instagram story font. So that's basically the prompt that we're sending to Nano Banana. And then for the image URL, we're just sending that image that we um, got with the previous node. Format is going to be PNG and then image size is, size is going to be 9 by 16 because that's what we want. So everything should be good set up there. Then we have the wait node. We're going to be waiting for 45 seconds because that's roughly how long it takes. If you get errors, you might want to up this wait a little bit. Then for the get image, we're hitting this URL right here, sending the query parameters of the task ID, dragging that task ID because that's what's going to get this the result file, which is in this right here. So then we're gonna to go to the next node and then we're gonna be writing this code right here. You're just gonna to wanna to copy it. Um, if you don't have it, you can obviously screenshot it, send it to ChatGPT and get it. And basically what this is doing is it's extracting this temporary file right here and then it's gonna be loading it. So we're just gonna be getting the file as a data object right here. Then what we're gonna do is Google Drive. We're just uploading it to our drive. So you just have your drive, whatever folder you want it in. I just named it story.png and then input data field name is just data because it's just called data right here. And then what we're doing on Google Drive is we're taking the ID from the last one and then we're making it so anyone can view this. So this will allow you to go over to here 
and then on your image outputs like you can just copy and paste this and send this to your client or you can go to your Google Drive to that folder like download everything and send it over to them but it's also important because it's making it so it's accessible from the automation so that's why we need this then what we're doing is we're adding it to the sheet this is the image output so we're basically just outputting it with the link here and then all, all the attributes then what we're doing is I'm putting it into this temporary one so if you go to story controls you see the temporary image this, this just makes it really easy to generate the video on it so I don't really have to store it in value anywhere so we're just um, storing it by the row number we're just taking the row number variable and then we're just putting that temporary image there and then it's looping through and it's going to loop through and do this process for everything once it finishes this it's going to go down this path here to the video generations so we're going to be getting everything that's to do so in essence this is going to just return all the same stuff but this time we're going to have the temporary image file right there which is really good so that's going to loop through then we have this module which is http request right here I'm going to pop this open we're sending it to the vo3 api on key and it's doing the vo3 fast so this is only going to cost us 40 cents i'm just sending in the prompt and then the image url and the image url is the one created with nano banana and then the prompt is just the video idea from the sheets then we have a wait now this one is going to be three minutes because the vo3 takes a while longer then we're going to be getting the video link very similar thing we're just going to be sending it the task id and that's going to give us this um, results file luckily it's not like nested into a variable so it's easier to access then we're going to do download the video just a git request to that url it's going to download it as data then same thing we're just uploading this file like i'll open this for you we're just uploading this file as mp4 and then this thing same as i think we're just sharing it but we're making sure it's the id of the video we uploaded right here then we're adding the result to the sheet getting the product info this is the thing i fixed so now it would say prime theme i just had is custom this is the link 9 by 16 story so then you know when you go to the video outputs you'll have all these uh, i didn't do the fix before so it should have shown prime here if i ran it again it would and then you can see i have all these athletic greens that i've tested and it's some of these you know were also probably mislabeled from the farmer's dogs but you can see that you have access to all these files and that's basically how it works thank you so much for watching this video even if you don't implement it i think it's super important to understand what's going on with nano banana and vo3 yet again i have my school it's at 20 dollars per month when we hit 1.5k members i'm likely going to be doubling the price so everyone can lock in at 20 dollars a month for life or that cheaper discounted rate if you go annually and this is honestly you know my last warning before i raise the price again i have a lot of people that complain and I spend a significant portion of my week creating all these templates, creating all these update videos. I have so much free value, but to get this specific template, you're going to have to be part of the community. So make sure to do that if you want. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys later.